What's up folks? Time for another one of my posts. I know I said I was going to post more videos on my weight loss journey when I um, hit my all time low. I haven't done that yet. I still feel kind of funny doing weight loss videos just because I'm so big still. But I know that I actually got down lower than my um, the one I the weight that I uh, posted that video on. I got down to 260, which is my lowest ever. I'm down 53 pounds. And I know losing 53 pounds is huge. A lot of people want to do that, so I am going to make more videos. But it kind of crossed my mind that something that just kind of got me started. So I wanted to talk about um, mind state. Basically, um, I listened to a bunch of like online pod, like online mentors, I guess, quote unquote mentors. One of them that I listen to is Wes Watson. He has a podcast. They're like nine or ten minutes. I listen to one of those like pretty much every day. Um, one thing that he said that's really stuck to me and has been a big part of my journey is um, that voice in your head. And I'm real guilty of this. He goes, could you imagine if you had a loudspeaker that projected that voice in your head? Like what people would think of you? And I was like, man, that's bad because I really get on myself and I, I have a lot of negative thoughts. So what he basically followed that up with was saying like, you can't get away from that negative thought, but you can stop it. The sooner you can stop it, the better off you're going to be. Don't dwell in it. That's how people get into like getting feeling depressed or super anxious or whatever. Um, I've gotten pretty good at that. Like as soon as I start thinking negative thoughts, maybe a couple minutes I can get out of it and say, Hey, that isn't really me thinking that that's just me hearing that voice. Um, and that happened. It's, it's happened to me a lot this week. I'm back in the gym. Um, a couple weekends ago, I busted my knee up real bad. I'm going in for an MRI tomorrow. I'll know exactly how bad it is. But last week, I was just, I wasn't going to the gym. I was feeling sorry for myself. I was, I drank more last week than I used to. I was only drinking beer one day a week when I was losing a bunch of weight real fast. So um, I kind of fell back into my old habits and the voice in my head started kicking in you know, just like, you're done. You can't, can't work out. You're going to gain weight. And, uh, I got sick of hearing that voice. It took me about a week, which is really long for me, but, um, it's always there. Now on the flip side of that, you have this other voice in your head that's telling you the right things to do all along. That I had another voice in my head saying, you need to get back in the gym. No excuses. Quit being a bitch. Uh, you're too big to be not going to the gym and sitting and being sediment and, you know, just, not doing shit. So I decided to listen to that voice. I'm back at it. Um, I'm very limited on what I can do. No legs whatsoever. I can't get on the treadmill anymore, but just think about that voice in your head. I had to, it took me a long time to train myself. As soon as them thoughts come in my head, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm going basically like, man, shut up, shut up. That ain't real. That ain't right. You're good. Let's go. And, uh, I kind of squash that, those negative thoughts as soon as they come. I can never stop them. They're constantly bouncing in my head, but I'm getting a lot better at stopping them in their tracks and not letting it fester in my brain for very long. So if you're like me, you know, I was like, I was really down on myself when I was 313 pounds, man. You should have heard the shit that was going on through my head, but I decided to just stop listening to that, knowing that it really ain't me and it's not the truth. I knew I could uh, lose some weight. I just had to put in the work and another voice started coming up saying, get in the gym, get in the gym, start doing something. You know, you need to lose weight. And that's the voice I decided to listen to. So think about that. If, if your inner voice was on a loudspeaker for the whole world to hear all day long, would you be proud of what your inner voice was saying to you? Or would you be ashamed? In my case, I was, I'd be real ashamed because it, it was not good. And as I've gotten better at this, I'm less ashamed of what goes on inside my head. And I'm, I'm more proud of how quickly I'm able to to stop that voice when it starts getting me down or saying negative things. So just a thought for you, man, if you're going to start trying to lose weight, you probably got a whole bunch of, um, bad shit running through your head, excuses of why you shouldn't do it. All kinds of things that could stop you. Don't listen to that voice. Stop it as soon as it starts up and then get on it. You can do it. I did. And trust me, it helps. It helps in everything. Work, my family, my relationships with my friends, everything. As soon as I start thinking bad shit, I stop it in its tracks and I, I try to think positive things rather than those negative ones. All right, y'all. Have a good day. I'll keep you posted on the MRI, but probably not good. We'll see. Later.